Downtown Bristol has been growing into a real city center for the last few years, with restaurants and retail shops drawing people to historic State Street and surrounding streets. But there's been a slight disconnect between the operating hours of the restaurants and the retail shops. Most of the shops have been closing at 5, just at the time the restaurants are beginning to do their best business. One of the complaints that we hear here in the Believe in Bristol office a lot is I come downtown to eat dinner but none of the retail shops are open when I get here so I can't support locally if they're not open. So we've decided um, and Lead Bristol has decided to um, do what's called Sunset Shopping Downtown and it is a cross promotional initiative with uh, many of the retailers about 15 or 16 different retailers and several of our downtown restaurants. So if you come to downtown Bristol on a Thursday night between 5 and 8 and you purchase something, you'll get a stamp on your receipt. If you take that stamp to one of the participating restaurants, you'll get a discount on your food. It could be um, free Parmesan fries from Burger Bar, a 10% off from several of our downtown restaurants, or it could be, you know, buy one, get one. Um, so they have really done a great job. We've had a great um, group of people say, step up and say, we want to make sure that, you know, people are able to support local here in downtown Bristol. So we're really excited. One of the participants is 606 Gallery. We've incorporated our hours, our new hours for Thursday to be 12 to 8 p.m., which is new hours for the 606 Gallery. So we are open Thursdays from 12 to 8, and then Friday and Saturdays from 12 to 7. So what we hope to achieve is to make people aware that we're here and that these are local artisans from this area, Bristol, uh, in this Virginia area, Tennessee area and they show their artwork, which is fabulous. And um, we hope to get people involved and you know, interested in coming in and participating and becoming an artisan if they're interested in showing their work. And hopefully people will come and uh, purchase the artwork and see what we're all about. Most people think of State Street as the center of retail in downtown, but don't forget about the surrounding streets. Robert Pilk owns Mountain Empire Comics on 6th Street and plans to also participate. Well, we're trying to get everybody to stay open a couple of hours later on Thursday nights to take advantage of the people who get off work at 5 and uh, by about that time downtown's closing except for the restaurants. And I think they've, they've talked about it in the past and uh, never really got everybody to agree, but I think this time maybe we've got a, enough people that are going to give it a try. Maybe it'll, it, we'll try it this spring and summer and see what happens. Hopefully we'll pull a lot of people downtown here. And uh, we've got a lot of nice specialty shops. That's, that's true, absolutely true, uh, if people will come down and check them out. Mr. Pilk has big plans for the spring. We've got free comic book day coming up uh, May the 3rd. We're going to, that's, that's, will help kick off the celebration, I think. It's the... Free comic books for everybody that comes in. We've got guest artists and writers, local people coming in that, who do comic books and you know mystery novels and things. We've got uh, we're gonna block the street off out here and let people set up and sell their own comics and toys and stuff. Got like a flea market for comics. We do it every year and it gets bigger every year. Another store that is participating, but it's on a side street, is the store at L.C. King Manufacturing on the corner of 7th and Shelby. Well, it's not that we were having a problem with our customer base coming in. It's just that this, organ, this volunteer group said, well, why don't we get another event to get people to come to downtown Bristol? And uh, by having people to come down and shop at night, when they typically, after supper, there's some, you need something to do. Well, why don't you just come to downtown Bristol? It's beautiful. It's springtime. Weather's really nice. You can walk around downtown. There are not many downtowns that you can walk around. And then that's why we decided that we'd participate, and we're open till 8 o'clock at night now. The store at L.C. King Manufacturing has only been in business in September, but is showing promise. Our store is doing fantastic. You know, we've been open since Rhythm and Roots last year. It's not something I really thought we would be successful at, being off the State Street, but we're located at the corner of 7th and Shelby. It's a very busy corner. We have a lot of free parking right in front. 
So uh, we've been really happy with the store. So now we're open Monday through Saturday. We're open from 10 to 345. And the reason we close at 345 is so to make sure that you can get your jeans hemmed when you walk in the door. And also, uh, if we're open Monday through Friday, you're more than welcome to do a factory tour. All you got to do is ask Terry or Melody or Courtney that's working here and uh, walk upstairs and see what we're making that day. So come on down to this factory store. So remember that date, Thursday, April 3rd. It will be the first day of the Sunset Shopping Days in downtown Bristol. Come on down, do a little shopping, and have a nice meal.